There are a number of different factors that influence the rate of, of weathering. One of the, the most important is water. And water is important for both the physical and chemical weathering. Uh, for physical weathering, uh, having water go into uh, the cracks and rocks, uh, change phase or evaporate, um, is, is really important. Uh, for chemical weathering, water facilitates the chemical reactions. So, so without, without water, uh, chemical weathering uh, doesn't occur. Uh, another important thing uh, is temperature. And for physical weathering, we talked about how the freeze-thaw cycling uh, can enhance the breakage of rocks. Uh, for chemical weathering, it's really important uh, because reactions are faster at higher temperature. So given the same rock type, the same water chemistry, uh, uh, a rock near the equator where it's warm on average, will be uh, much more quickly chemical weathered than one, say, uh, in Antarctica. Another important um, component is uh, the uh, water chemistry. All right, so a number of the reactions for, for example, uh, weathering plagioclase, uh, the um, consumed acidity, and so more acid water uh, can cause a lot of weathering uh, reactions to occur uh, more quickly. And so this, this actually is um, really important in terms of plants. Um, and so I'm going to put vegetation as uh, a fourth key aspect of, of chemical weathering and one aspect of that is the organic acids. So plants evolved to produce organic acids that help break down rocks to make a good soil and it releases nutrients in the rock and provides a good um, substratum for the vegetation to, to grow on. So the fact that vegetation often releases organic acids is, is a, an evolutionary response to the fact that uh, acids help promote weathering um, processes. Another key component uh, for vegetation uh, is roots. So roots uh, start out small and they grow bigger and the little root tips can go into small cracks in the rock and as they grow, they can break uh, the rocks apart. And so the uh, effect of roots is uh, very important on uh, the extent of weathering. So the chemical weathering uh, depends very strongly uh, on environmental conditions uh, and biology. Thanks for watching.